Shalom, Shalom, Britain. Hallelujah. I'm sorry about that. Um, I greet you all in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah. Uh, today we are doing the book of Second Peter, um, chapter three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, Shalom, guys. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Yes, we can. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Trelani. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, brethren. Um, Pastor, your, your mic is muted. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, Pastor. Shalom. Shalom, 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 Pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm hearing you loud and and very clear. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor. Hallelujah. Uh, today we are doing the book of Second Peter, chapter three, and you guys are all welcome. Uh, hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Pastor, can you pitch, uh, please page to the second page? Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. 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 Okay, we are going to read from verse 1 to verse 3, the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, I mean, chapter 3, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. It has been a long time since I have written to you, my beloved, but now I write to you the second uh, hospital in which by reminder, I stir up your pure mind to remember, to remember the words having been spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandments given by us, the apostle of our master and savior. First, knowing this, that during the last days, scoffers will come walking according to their own lust. Hallelujah. 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 Um, here we are, uh, Paul and Peter is now advising us of the things that will happen in the future. And uh, he is just telling us about the words that he's now telling us are the words that were said by the prophets and also the words that were said by Yeshua himself to them. This is a direct word that he was talking about. And in this, he was talking about the last days that we are now living in. Yes, we can see that we can see there are scoffers who are walking according to their, their own lust. People are so blasphemed, they don't even have any decency at all. And um, this is an indication. I'm sure when Peter was talking to those in his time, they did not understand the severity of his statement, but we do uh, see it now that things are no longer as they used to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, brethren. The book of Second Peter. Verse 1 to verse 3. Hallelujah. Is there any contribution? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. If there is no contribution or any question, then we are going to read from verse 4. Hallelujah. To, to verse 6. And it reads as follows. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For from which time the fathers fell asleep? all things remain so from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly forget that the heavens were of old and the earth rose up from the waters and by, by means of waters, by the word of Yahweh, 
through which the world, which then was being flooded by the water, perished. Hallelujah. <clears throat> yes, people are asking, when is this coming? When is these things that are said coming? Things have been the same ever since. Nothing has changed. We have got the global warming. Meanwhile, their hearts are rotten to the core. So that's why Yeshua and Yahweh did not give a day so that it should be the way of living, not an event which we are anticipating. Our, our conversion is different from what the churches think. The churches think that once you are converted, that is enough. You can then live the way you want to live. But the intention of our conversion was to actually change us so that it will be our day-to-day -day way of living. Whereas now people, you find they behave anything from, from Monday to Saturday. And on Sunday, they put their uh, little shoes, good shoes, and they go to church. And uh, even they change, even the way they, they speak. Only for that day, when come Monday, they are exactly the same as they were. And uh, this is the what Yahweh actually uh, saw. And uh, that is why he said, no, this has to be a way of life, not an occasion. We know people who will actually wear those uniforms to church. That is why they wear a uniform. They are actually saying they are holy only during the time they are wearing their uniforms. And then from there on, they are as they are until the next dressing up, Hallelujah. which is actually a dress up. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, Brother Tolani. Uh, yes, Pastor, the uniform, it, it becomes like people are worshipping the uniform, actually, because you see the behavior of a person when he's, he or she's wearing a uniform, and when she's not wearing a uniform, it's very, very uh, different. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm ready to, to, to start a fight, but because of this uniform, Pastor, because of this uniform, yeah, you know me, you know me. You know you are lucky because I'm wearing this uniform. You are lucky because I'm wearing this uniform. <laughs> because what is because what is very sad is that um, and we have we have seen many, uh, especially of the mothers out there, when it comes to this uniform thing. You know, let me show me the best picture of me in my uniform, so you can show the world how much of a believer I am. Hallelujah. And even the fathers, some of them, when they are very, very holy, they wear big shoes. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, so I respect the uniform. Sister, please look at Sister Pagama when she's saying this. So I can't stop now. Hallelujah. Uh, she's saying, actually, Pastor, they say they are strength. It's on that uniform. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> that is so true. Okay, Brother, if there is no <clears throat> contribution, then we are going to read from verse 7 to verse 9, hallelujah, and it reads as follows. But the heavens and the earth know now, having been stored up by the same weight, are being kept for fire to a day of judgment and destruction of the wicked men. But let not this one thing be, be hidden from you, beloved, that one day with Yahweh is as thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. Yahweh is not uh, negligent concerning his promises, as some count negligence, but is patient towards us, not wishing any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> we know 
that um, Yahweh, as well as he is merciful, he will judge, he will punish sinners. And already it has been written that this world that we are looking at and uh, these countries that we think they have got bigger currents that controls everyone. It is written that that whole world is a reserved for judgment by fire. That means they are gonna be burnt to ashes. Hmm. And uh, this has been said by the word and the word of Yahweh will never go back to him empty handed without achieving what it was purposed to do. And he said, we should know that the day of Yahweh, one day in Yahweh can be a thousand years and a thousand years can be in one day. What does and this mean? This means that Yahweh live out of time. He is not bound by the time that binds us. So any day we need to be very, very careful. Although some people will see that he is not acting according to their desires, but he, it is not negligence on his part, but he is actually concerned because he wants everyone not to perish, but all to come to repentance. But we look at the time and we say, but it was and there are prophets that have come they who say the 1966, the world is going to end. And then they say the 1972, and then they said uh, 2000, and still the world is going. And then they said 2020, still the world is growing. And then some people start thinking, no, there's nothing like that. But when we all think that there is peace and security, then there will be sudden destruction. Yes, Yahweh wants every one of us to repent. That's why we are in the day of preparation to prepare for the day that is coming. But we need all of us to be very careful to repent every day so that we are able to actually be one of those that will escape the fire that is designed through the word for this wicked generation. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Uh, any contribution, uh, brethren? Hallelujah. The book of Second Peter chapter 3. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Is there any question? Any contribution? <coughs> Hallelujah. Okay, if there is no contribution, then uh, we are going to read from verse 10 to verse 12. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in which the heaven will pass away with rushing sound, and the elements are separate as they burn, and earth and the works in it will be burned up. Now, since all this being up, about to be dissolved, what sort of person ought you to be in holy behavior and righteous, righteousness, looking for and longing for the coming of the day of Yahweh, through which the heaven, having been set afire, will be dissolved and burning, the elements will melt. Hallelujah. 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 We, we can see that if this is not a time of joking. The children of Israel were never told these words, but we are told that the day of Yahweh is now coming and that the fire that was promised, it is now a real. And it said, this world will pass with a rushing sound and the elements are separate as they burn and the earth and the works in it will be burned up. Yes, 
we need to understand that that a thief when it is coming to our house it doesn't announce us uh, doesn't announce to us to say yes i'm going to come at 12 past 12 to steal from your house no he comes when you least expect it you come and then you will do the damage and that is exactly so what does it mean for us it means that we need to be always, always prepared. We need to be at our best, our best behavior. We need to live in righteousness at all times so that we will escape this day. We need to be those who will be looking for the coming of that day because we'll be knowing that we have been living righteous life and that fire will not even touch our skin do you know one good thing about yahweh yahweh always show us the things that are going to happen and um, he showed us what will happen when he burned the world and everything in it where will we be we will be just there just like shadrach meshach and abednego the fire was burning and everything was consumed. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were walking, walking majestically in the fire. Not even their hair was touched. And this is going to happen. So let us all, as believers, prepare ourselves for this day. Let's try to correct our behaviors. Let's repent from all our wickedness for this day is for real. And that this heaven and this earth have been set aside to be burnt with fire. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you again, Pastor. Shalom, brethren. Shalom, shalom. Uh, any contribution, any question regarding the book of Second Peter chapter 3 from verse 1 to verse 12? Hallelujah. 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 We thank Yahweh. Hallelujah. If there is no contribution, then we are going to read from verse 13 to verse uh, 15. And it reads as follows. But according to his promise, we look for new heavens and new earth in which righteous, righteousness will dwell. Because of this beloved, looking for these things, be diligent, spotless, and without blemish, that you may be found by him in peace. And consider the long suffering of Yahweh to be our redemption. And also our beloved brother Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him. Hallelujah. 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 You see, even Peter acknowledged what Paul was writing. But we hear people try to discredit Peter, I mean Paul. And we need to understand that Yahweh is going to change the whole thing. He's going to give us a new heaven and a new earth. And in this new heavens and new earth, it is only righteousness that will dwell in it. And in that new heaven, the new earth, there won't be any compromise. And we, those who will be in this new heaven and new earth, we must be spotless without any blemish. We must be the ones that live in peace. But how can we do that? We cannot be given a chance to go into this place when we and then practice to live in peace, to live uh, uh, without any blemish, to live uh, spotless, we should start it now. We should practice it now that we conduct ourselves in a way that is pleasing to Yahweh. Let us live now as if we are already in the new heavens and new earth. Let's start having love for one another. Let's start forgive one another. Let's start not judge one another. Let's 
all accept that Yahweh, it is long suffering by allowing us and they, to do whatever we do, waiting for us to actually come to our repentance. But we have received the redemption. Let us now live as if we never sinned before. Yesterday, we were looking at the book of um, the second, uh, second Peter chapter two, where Peter actually said, we came out from these things. And then we got into the new things of the Messiah. Why are we going back again to those things that we have we had actually um, come out of? Why are we still being bogged down by the rules and regulations of the place we came out of? Why are we still living under the pointer when we are now supposed to live under grace, under the, 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 the example of the kingdom of Yahweh. We are already supposed to be working as if we are already in the kingdom. That means we need to, to speak to our sisters, to our brothers, to our neighbors with love because we'll not have a chance to practice it once we get into the kingdom. Meaning if you cannot love now, don't think you will ever be able to enter into the kingdom, regardless of how beautiful sermons you preach, how beautiful voice you have to sing, and how much you give to the poor. But if you do not adapt living standard of the kingdom now, you are wasting your time. Because Yahweh will not say, let me push him in. You will learn from there. No. This is the time we are doing the practicals. Either we fail now or we pass now. Hallelujah. And we hear now, Paul is, I mean, Peter is talking about Paul. That Paul has been writing to so many people. Paul wrote according to the wisdom given to him. And this is actually to, to confirm that what Paul was teaching, it was given to him by Yahweh. Peter, who walked with Yeshua, could testify that. So who is this man who was born in the 1900s or the 2000s, who is now saying Paul does not know what he's talking about? My brothers and sisters, we need to open our ears and listen. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom, brethren. Is there any contribution or any question? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are doing the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, uh, from verse 1 to verse 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, if there is no question or any contribution, then we are going to continue from verse 16 to verse 18. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. As also in all his hospital, speaking in them concerning these things, in which some things are hard to understand, which those that are ignorant and unstable pervert their meaning, as also they do the rest of the scriptures to their own destruction. Therefore, beloved, since you know these things beforehand, guard yourself, lest being led away by the error of the lawless, you fall from your own uh, steadfastness, but grow in grace and knowledge of our master and savior, Yeshua Messiah, and of Yahweh the Father, to him be glory both now and to the days of eternity. So be it. Hallelujah. 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 We hear now, Peter is now explaining that the 
epistles of Paul, some people who did not understand it, they actually were led by their ignorance to actually change the meaning of those words so that it can suit them the lifestyle they were living. And then all this was to their own destruction. Yes, a lot of people will tell you and they misinterpret Paul and say Paul well, meant this, Paul meant that. Yet Paul did not mean anything different from what Yeshua said because Paul was actually given that revelation by Yeshua. And uh, Paul was speaking the same words of Yeshua. But now you find there are people who have actually chosen not to read the epistles, or epistles of, 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 of um, Paul because they say he was this, he was that. They even give him nationalities and everything they want. But Peter, who know better, he said, no, Paul's stuff is very difficult to understand for those who have who are hard to understand. Therefore, beloved, since we know these things beforehand, we should guard ourselves, lest we will be led out, away by this error of the lawless, and that we should stand steadfast because we know what Paul and Peter all said is going to come to pass. We need to grow in grace and knowledge of our master, Yeshua, and our father, Yahweh. And we give glory to him. And also, we need to know that we are waiting for the day of eternity. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Shalom, brethren. We were doing the book of Second Peter, chapter 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the platform is open for any contribution or any question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Any questions, guys? Any contribution? Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guys, are you there? Hallelujah. This was the last book of uh, Peter. Hallelujah. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Brother Colony, you're welcome. Um, it's, it's like you're not believing that it, this is the last book. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that? <laughs> the way you're pronouncing it, it seems like, like uh, guys, is this the last one? Is there, <laughs> Pastor, is there any more pages? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know? are so quiet. No, it's, um, I think what's very interesting here is that what we're actually seeing as today is not any different from uh from from then of people trying to buy salvation and people try to get things uh to be seen in their own perspective because sin is uh, the order of the day and uh, the, and uh, coming to think about it you know going through all these nations uh, from the from the galatians to the corinthians and having to uh, preach out what Paul has done and has said to them. And then who is this young man coming to imitate uh, Paul? And for those who understood him, uh, they're also trying to buy their way out uh, of things. And, you know, like he can easily go, uh, he can easily have a, um, a position in any uh, governing power and uh, because of being steadfast, of knowing where he stands, it is only in the truth and living in the righteousness of, of Yahshua. 
Okay. Alléluia. 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 Shalom, brethren. Is there <coughs> any question? Thank you, brother Tolani. Thank you so much, my brother. Alléluia. Any contribution? Any question? Alléluia. We thank you, guys. Uh, the book of Paul, it was just a reminder. Of the, I mean, the book of Peter, it was just a reminder for the book of Paul. Hallelujah. And we thank Yahweh for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, Brother Karunda? Yes, shalom, shalom. Shalom. Uh, yes, I, I would like uh, Pastor to explain more on verse 14, which says that uh, uh, because of this, beloved, looking for these things, be diligent, spotless, and without blemish, that you may be found by him in peace. Okay, how do one become diligent? Or what, how, what, what do you understand by that? Yes, um, diligent is actually to be a work, to be able to to, to, to see things and uh, work on them to conduct ourselves in a way that is that will put us in the right standing with, with Yahweh. This is what he's, he's talking about. He's talking about us changing to be, to be aware, to be quick thinking, to be uh, sort of to be right on the ball, uh, so to speak, so that when any deceit that might come might not be able to, to get us in any way. So we need to show care and a very conscious, to be conscious <clears throat> on the work that we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, just to read slightly, just to add on there is that, uh, as we know that we uh, we are also we are sinners, and each day we are trying, we're working to become uh, perfect uh, through righteousness, and as we can say that you have to be spotless, no blemishes. Uh, it says it's those few. Um, acts that we do. There's the few practices of, of loving um, uh, Yahweh with all your might and soul and loving your neighbor um, whereas you love yourself. Those two simple acts actually are the ones that are the ones that uh, kind of uh, make you become better uh, than uh, better in righteous and growing better in, in, in righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, uh, Brother Tolani. Thank you, uh, Brother Karunda. We thank Yahweh. Uh, Pastor, is there anything from your side? Hallelujah. <clears throat> On my side? Yes, before we close the platform. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, okay. Um, what, what I just want to, to highlight and is um, the, 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 the fact that when Paul or when Peter was writing, he was actually telling us that this is not a time we need to now dilly dally. This is the time where we need to start action. And that action, knowing very well that we don't have time. Because when you look at the, the, the first verse, he was actually talking about the last days knowing this, that during the last days, scoffers will come walking according to their own lust. He is talking about scoffers who were coming in the last days. He was not talking about scoffers of his day. He was talking about that who were coming in the last days. And we are the generation that is in the last day. We are the ones that are really, really pointed to by, by Peter, that we should be diligent in everything that we do. We should work 
so hard in repentance and we should work so hard that we are spotless and we don't have any blemish. As we said, this is the walk of life that we are supposed to lead today because we are told that the day will come like a thief that no one will be knowing and the people are taking it for granted and they lessen the, the, the fact that the day will come because they are still looking at the times of their fathers and whoever it is that no, it was said it will come, but it never came. But look at Peter. Peter spoke about this day uh, 2000 years ago. And uh, imagine then, and we, so we know that it is written that the day of Yahweh is a thousand years and a thousand years can be day of Yahweh. So in other words, if we use that, that means we have just come in most probably in the second day of Yahweh. And uh, that means that we are really, really in the dying minutes of grace. So we need to do something now, not to wait any longer. Let's try to practice that which we will practice in the, in the, in the, in the, in the kingdom of Yahweh, because this is the place where we try, where we make mistakes and then the mistakes will be covered by the blood of Ashua due to grace. But imagine this grace is gonna end. That means the minute you make a mistake, you are gone. But if we are now used to doing righteous, then when evil is removed, will not have any inclination of doing evil, <laughs> then we will be covered. But if we don't see it and the grace ends before we get ourselves acquainted to righteousness, then we will lose our lives. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Brethren. Uh, today's book was very short. And we thank our brother Karunda. Yes, uh, I, I would like also to, to touch on something that uh, came in my mind as we had been reading uh, this book, especially verse three and verse four. Uh, and the pastor has touched it again uh, about the scoffers. You see, uh, these are the people who you find on the way that they, they try to discourage you and tell you that. Uh, uh, and now this kingdom, it, it's like it's not coming. It, now Yeshua maybe it, he has forgotten to come. Maybe he's not coming again. You see, uh, uh, there is there was a time that uh, I was talking to to, to one of uh, my friend about the 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 true repentance, and uh, she was ask he was asking me why should people repent, and yet yeah I can't create a, a man and again destroy him. And I reminded him uh, on the issues of uh, on the days of Noah and the of what on and on all that happened. So and I told him that, that those days, fire came off, the rain came and the people were destroyed. And I also reminded him about the days of Lot, where fire came and they destroyed the the cities. But uh, he was so ignorant that uh, he didn't believe that uh, there is final judgment he only believed that uh, after death now everything is is done so these are the people that uh, the scripture is talking about that they might tell you that uh, yeshua is not coming again or, or rather yeshua is taking long to come but uh, we have seen it is so clear that uh, uh, in verse a uh, yahweh is not late of anything he is on time and actually Whatever he has promised will not fail. Yes, human being can fail. We can fail, you can fail, but Yahweh will never fail to fulfill his promises. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. 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 So true, so true. His word will Hallelujah. never go back to him empty-ended without achieving what he had 
uh, purpose it to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All we need is to be patient. Hallelujah. Thank you, Awe. Thank you so much, Brother Karunda. Hallelujah. Um, guys, uh, we are closing the platform today. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to do the, the summary of the book of Peter. Hallelujah. From the uh, first book and the second book. Hallelujah. Uh, can you please come on time? Because we just want to do it tomorrow and finish about it. Uh, as, as soon as we can start together, then we'll finish it together on time. Hallelujah. Thank you so much uh, for today. We thank Yahweh. Uh, tomorrow, Pastor will be resting again. I I, 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 I like to know you guys can see how much I'm giving Pastor rest uh, as my witnesses. Hallelujah. I am giving him rest. Hallelujah. Are you campaigning? <laughs> as it is now, I've been, I've been working the whole day. I've been working on the Book of Revelation because it's something uh, Yahweh told me uh, to put upon my heart that we, instead of going to John, uh, we should go to Revelations. Hallelujah. So I was going to Revelations one, two, three. Um, so that means tomorrow I'll still be working on Revelations. And Revelations is very long. Hmm. So uh, there is no rest <laughs> until <laughs> okay, we enter but... into paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We and thank the, you, our pastor. The other, and the other thing I want is, is, is there anyone who knows um, anything about uh, writing a skit or short stories that we want to dramatize. So if there is anyone on the platform who is, or who has got a little bit of experience in, in that, that nature, because we want to actually um, write as a, as a skit, the, by anything that is interesting, that is of the, uh, from the Bible, which we want the message to actually reach people. Um, like um, either the days of Noah or Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, we'll just pick up a character there that we will just do a short skit about him. Or uh, the laws, because the laws is very, very, very important. Um, we have been talking with Sister Emily and and um, and, and uh, some other sisters as well uh, regarding the the law of um, uh, the the law when a widow um, the husband is dead and what happens. So we just need also that three minute skit showing that law. Um, because some people these days, they don't have time to read, but uh, they can watch something. So that's what we want to do. So if there's anyone who have an idea of how uh, skits are done, please feel free to contact me or contact Sister Emily, and then um, we, can, we can work together on that. But we need it as soon as possible. We Hallelujah. don't want to wait until um, the end of the year. No, we want it now. Um, so our first meeting uh, on um, brainstorming will be on Sunday. Um, but then uh, we need, uh, if there's more people, then we can, we can then uh, get them all uh, incorporated and then we see what we can do. So contact me or contact Sister Emily and then we can sort it out. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Hallelujah. <coughs> um, okay, we have a message from Sister Brown. Hallelujah. Uh, she said there is Sister Clark, who is excellent in the spoken word performance. I guess she can do a skit also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, did you get that? Yes. Um, how do we get Sister Clark? Uh, Sister Brown, can you please forward the number for Sister Clark? Hallelujah. 
you can forward it on 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 WhatsApp uh, on my WhatsApp sis. Thank you so much, Sister Brown. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister, Sister Brown, thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, sis. Uh, shalom again, brethren. Um, can I please ask, um, Brother Colani, can I please ask my brother to close for us in prayer? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, brethren. Tomorrow we are doing the book of Peter. The, we are revising the book of Peter. Hallelujah. Thank you again. Uh, Brother Colani, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I just needed to, uh, you know, uh, and fix the frozen buttons here. Okay, thank you. But, uh, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Yasha, we come before you this evening. We say thank you. Thank you for the beautiful lessons that we are learning each day. Thank you for opening up our hearts, our minds, and our souls, and the Father, so we become better people, and the Father. So each day that we take a step forward, and the Father, we ask of you to be with us, and the Father. As we the, 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 as we are in the last days, and the Father, we separate ourselves from the world, and the Father. And when they look at us, they wonder what is this perfect anointing that we have upon us. It is the perfect righteousness, love that you have given us, and the Father. As we walk in the in the era of the Melchizedek era, era, we ask of you, and the Father, that walk with us and touch us, our, and touch us, and the Father, as we touch your heart, and the Father. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we pray. So be it, hallelujah. So be it, hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, good evening. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 Hallelujah. Shalom. Oh, you guys don't want to go. Let us start another book. Pastor, <laughs> so the brethren are not, they're not used to live early. Let us start another book. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>